How's it going, guys? It's, uh, it's Monday. Uh, Containers Cup is this week, so we fly it on Thursday. And I actually won't be back until probably Tuesday. As opposed to a regular Monday when we go to SBO. Because, you know, Containers Cup is not like the usual SBO. It's like a whole bigger deal. Uh, so that means I need to be there for extra days, right? And uh, it's also big news that uh, there's a Shadowers anime happening. And uh, I'll probably talk about this the entire day. You know, it's a really big deal. And I feel like the uh, reaction online is really, really negative. Uh, which I find really funny because I think it's like a really cool and excellent thing, right? Bam, see? Shadowers anime confirmed. Poggers. I'm super excited. Okay, uh, Win6 Games, Shadow Portal, Sword Rune. Definitely gonna play Shadow, so let's riddle the other one. Okay, chat. Uh, I have an idea of what the deck looks like, but I don't have like an exact copy that we're knife decking. So uh, help me out as we try and fix this. I'll just start from scratch so I don't get influenced by the previous cards that we had. Okay, let's try, let's try like this. So again, point is we do Saracen 5, Roll Wow on 6. And at least do some crazy shit, namely Lubel being like absolutely insane, right? So let's see what we can do with this. This will be Sarah's turbo. Okay, so like Sarah's has to clean up. Oh, he's gonna well. Sarah's dies here. That's kinda bad, right? I still have to do it. Actually, no, it's even worse. Because I don't answer the wait, hold on, we're in a bad spot. Does that mean I don't Sarah's then? And I go, dog, clear this? Like, I have to clear Daffodil. Okay, so let's do... Dog. Do I do double dog then? I can get one beefy boy. Or two medium-sized boys. Maybe I get one beefy boy. I've uh, got Tomoki. Uh, Justin with the gift of Thank you, Justin. I appreciate that. Let me get some more Lewis Potters in the chat. Double dog? I mean, double dog is bad against Kel, maybe, right? But maybe it's not that bad. I guess let's see what I draw. Isha can't be what we wanted, right? Okay, so we keep the dog alive. Also, I just realized I don't have music. Hold on a second. Or we have music, not background sound. Wait, he's just going face. Good thing. Okay, Cyrus heals, right? Like that should be really strong in the matchup. Rest in peace, dog. Okay, I think I d well, like Sora could fight the board, right? But I need to get Cyrus online. We have to get that Cyrus online. I just don't know if it's gonna be like way too slow. But I think it's still the play that I wanna make. Is that wrong? Yeah, I already double what's it called? Priest of X's? Might be able to clear the Ceres. Now, the question is if I make the Roa play right now, how much can I get out of it? I think we go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so we have play points to work with. This is happening. And this is happening. So we go to two play points. This is happening. So we got a beefy boy, because I gotta clear the Miaskers. But And I guess we just play all of these, right? Can we say that's not a bad turn at all? Imagine if we had a Lubel though as the thing, right? Like I didn't actually have the Lubel, which would be like the strongest thing you can do. But I'd say that was a decent turn. Like, that was a turn that I spent 6 playmates to discount my hand. But I also got to draw a card, get a 3-3 rush, a 4-4, a 1-2, and a 2-1 Helios. Seems okay, right? Okay, so... If he goes phase, we're at 10. We can Ceres... I probably need to Mom, though. I probably need to Mom to stabilize, right? I can do Mom Travelers. Maybe that's good enough. And we just protect my board and not quote-unquote waste it. Because Asia can always be surprised burst later on, technically, right? Like, as long as Helios is alive, the son the mummy can proc Asia. And I don't need the, the lethal damage right now, right? Okay, so we'll just go clear, clear. And I'll just spend the respite to chill, because we're gonna get the, the mom at the end of the turn, right? We still push decent damage, we're gonna stick pretty solid. And we'll keep this, because I'm probably gonna draw the bell next. Main character is a Drowncraft Timmy, I can get behind that. Four percent of Leo buff in before he double attacks for lethal. Okay. I need to draw. We need to heal up with Ceres. I'd like to get a... You know, maybe I should play... Disciple? Maybe it's not needed. 
I need like a little bit more burst damage, honestly. Enemy based on rotation? <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know, dude. We'll see what they do, right? Like I said, they could really do anything. Wait, what does Kiwi do? Kiwi would do something if we already had an Asia that was dead, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna just... Well, I should draw with Thought first, then. What if I just play Double Ceres and we heal to 12? What is he gonna do about it? Where's my Lubel, though? Where is my Lubel, chat? Alright, let's go, Stormhaven. Show me what you got. I believe that's the last piece of excess. So Kiwi doesn't do shit, unless Aisha has already been dead, right? Like what, I'm gonna reanimate a Helix or something? Does he trade with that? He does. It's not proc'd. Damn, okay, so our thought is like really, really slow. Like super slow. It only has one Agnes left though. Okay, Lubel is best draw by far. Boom! Lubel is best draw by far. I think we just go Lubel and start the party. What is the correct way to trade? Do we trade first or do I get more Faunas first? I'm actually not sure, right? Like, Lubel will give me so many last words. Get the snipe. I still want board space too. I'm probably gonna play Asia because Zombie's gonna go face, right? Zombie's always gonna go face. There's no way I die at 12 life. Plus one, plus one in the zombie? This has to happen, right? That's always happening. And then we do one more tree and call it a day. How much damage do we get with the young Kiwi plus Asia, I guess? Like, we have a good board. I'm at 12 life, he has one Agnes left. The anime will be a card game? Uh, we don't know, dude. People are just assuming things, right? Like, we've only literally seen one picture of it. People are assuming a lot of things. Is it like Yu-Gi-Oh? Maybe. Is it like its own thing? We have no idea, right? We just don't know. I can always see the MC get into the game on the first episode with random cards thrown together. Right, like maybe th they get anime-only cards that are not in the game, right? I will say, Sarah's put in mad work that game. I feel like the robot play was solid, but it wasn't even like the best robot we could have had. Also, we drew the one of Asia, which is bad, because we could have easily invocated it for free, right? But that seems pretty good. Maybe that's why the card in the background looks a bit mecha -y. You mean the, the Bahamut? And we already had a. Wait, how does he have four play points? Wait, something's not right here. Who let this guy get to four play points? I don't know if I play this to draw cards. The more cards I have, the better my series discount is. And yet, that's a 4 4. I like the dog though. Okay, so I play Ceres and I overdraw one card, but that's fine because my hand is insane, right? And we actually do have the Lubel this time around. The crazy way to pre with the Ceres, seeing as how they play Frosty, right? We'll just chill. Like, dude, my my play after is gonna be so disgusting, right? Wait, these aren't shadow cards though, these are neutral cards. I mean it's still good enough, right? I guess I might as well clear that. What is thought at? Not close. It could be close after with Lubel spam though. I think I hold this one. Let me just chill. Play slow, play defensive, right? Alright, check out the plays chat. So, dog is being played, Lubel is being played, and then we just go ham and see what happens, right? I can still play Ceres too. But, let's just start trading and see what happens, right? Like, this will give me a lot of uh, last words up to hopefully proc the thought relatively soon. Okay, kill this thing. Plus one, plus one all day, dude. We'll take that plus one, plus one all day. Just free stats, basically, right? Okay, kill this thing. I mean, the dog only keeps getting... Bigger and bigger, right? That's an 8-8 eight, eight dog! Oh, we got the 1 damage ping, right? Okay, so that was probably a decent turn. And now my thought is proc'd. 
Is that not pretty sick chat? Like, come on. Now, now we're playing Shadow. Now we're playing Shadow. I see the power of the deck. I see the power. Not gonna need, need not gonna evil anything like that. We still have two evils left. Tenth and dog. Maybe I pre with this. No, he could must have win it, right? Maybe that's incorrect. And yet we're so ahead. I'm trying to push that lead. Chungus. Well now Chungus doesn't answer Lubel though. I mean that's cute, but I think we're still okay. Okay, obviously dog dies, that's expected. But Lubel survives. That's a big deal. Also, we have Thought Effect online now and Aisha to work with. So, shit's happening. Sora is a card too. As is Kiwi. And we have Mom. This shit just got so crazy. I think I killed a Thought for board space. I'd rather get Mom in like a two drop. So, we go kill this. Another Lubel. Okay, so we go Mom. Oh, well, that's fine. Because Mom dies here. But then we could Sora the Masamune. I'm still pushing the 4 phase damage anyway, right? Okay, so we get Mom. 7 9 to the face, Asia to the face. I could have also played Trees and gone for the Lubel value. Which also would have been acceptable, of course. I was checking my shadows, but I guess we have more than enough anyway. Also, we have thought effect, so if he kills these, he would die. I feel like... I see the power of the shadow chat. I see the power of it. Yeah, this deck is super fun right now. And, uh, it seems super powerful, right? Like, man, what a board. 7-9, 4-4, Bane, 5-5, five, 4-6. Five, four, Last wars deal to damage and everything. Like, let's go. I think this is the time where we play Confectioner, and I don't feel bad about it. I really want to draw Lubel. Not bad. Werewolf? Like that's that's kind of BM, but we have Manifest Malice, I guess, to clean up. Question would be whether I spend an Evo on the Young Camel, and I guess the answer is yeah. It's still a free resource. I'm okay with doing so, right? Okay, we need Ceres though. Ceres is best turn 5 by far. We'd really like a turn 5 Ceres. If not, then I don't know what we're doing. Uh, unfortunate, no Ceres. Ceres would have been amazing. Uh, maybe I just draw then. See what I can, uh, what I can get. The young Kiwi. We hold that for burst. Kind of feels like a waste of Manifest Malas that, but... And I guess it's fine. I'd rather save an evil and Manifest Malas that, I suppose. Not the greatest, but I guess we're doing okay. Okay, this guy's probably playing Zeus and shit, right? Which might be bad for us. I still want Ceres. I'm gonna say Ceres is still the best play. I mean, the best draw. My thought is uh, kind of slow at the moment. Lubel can definitely help to speed that up. But we need more play points to get the Lubel power plays going. Okay, Ceres it is. We're gonna burn a card and I'm okay with this. Because my turn is going to be so strong, it doesn't matter. Also, did you guys know that Burn a Card gives you a shadow? And uh, right now we value all those shadows. He's probably going to cradle over this, right? Draw last, Dragon Mane. That's not bad, I guess. Okay, so we can go Row Wow and then just go Ham on the Lubels. I wish we had Sora. If we had Sora, this would be the easiest Row Wow of my life. Without the Sora, it is not as simple. If I roll one now, we will certainly get nutty turns following up though. So maybe I have to roll wow evil thought to kill this. We take 3 to the face and then Shiva hits me for 4, we go to 11. No, I can't take that much damage. There's no way I can allow that much damage, right? So I think that means we have to uh, Lubel now, sadly. That means if I hold my evil... Uh, Sora is the best draw. Sora is the best draw by far then. Dog is not bad, but not at the moment. Uh, that's actually kind of bad, right? The plus one plus one is kind of whack there. Well, I clear the board, I suppose. 
these are good draws to uh, row wow. It just, I want Sora. Sora is the best one by far. Okay, H is proc. That's good. Burn Helio, that's fine. We don't really like Helio much anyway. Let's do row wow. Play Thought for the leader effect. I'm okay with trading Asia here, just to answer that. I think that's fine. Like, my next couple turns will be absolutely crazy, right? So hold the dog, Lubell, and everything. Kill this, Travelers. And I was playing our Thought. He's gonna clear these anyway, right? Okay, I'm at 13 life. He can't suze me yet. We can do so many crazy plays next turn. I just need uh, board space, things to trade into, basically. Okay, so hopefully he plays, yeah, something big that I can uh, send things into. Another Lubel and a Helios. Yeah, playing bad is good. That's good for us. There's the Sora. I still have an Evo, by the way, right? Okay, well, let's start playing cards and then we'll just figure it out. I'll just figure it out. I need to just play fast, right? Okay, so two damage over here. If only we had the mummy to give the dog storm. If only, right? The 17 tag would actually be absolutely insane here. Like, we'd actually just win the game if Sora was the mummy instead, right? Like, that would actually just win the game on the spot. We're still doing a shitload of damage, though. Actually, isn't he, isn't he still lethal? Because I have Kiwi... Kiwi and uh, Asia is how much damage? It's 7, right? It's not quite lethal, but it's close. Maybe I just play Mom as a defensive option then, right? Yeah, maybe we just play Mom instead then. Well, Mom doesn't have Ward. No, it doesn't do anything. This doesn't actually do anything. Playing Mom is not the correct play. Like, if I, I still had a switch regardless. The correct play would have been to have the mummy and then dog would have killed him, right? It's 2-3 Kiwi lethal. The thing with Kiwi is that even though he's discounted to 1, you need to play him for... Oh, actually, shit, you're right. Because I could just play him because I still have the Evo. No, you are correct. That would have been lethal, right? Because I can just play the trees and that puts him at 7. And then we play Kiwi, I Evo it manually. And then we proc the Asia. So you're right, yeah, I did miss lethal. So... You know, like, definitely not that, like, super simple to play, but it, it's cool to see that we're learning the plays and how it works, right? Gotta learn, like, how much damage we can actually output and stuff. Well, Mom attacks twice. He's getting killed, the Mom. But yeah, we did miss Lethal last turn, then. Dude, the deck is so powerful, right? We have so many strong plays. I really, really like it. I'm undefeated by Roach with Crumpy Craft. It's made for countering Haven. Oh no, man. Mom is, Mom is pretty solid. She's alright. The star of the deck is definitely Lubel, though. Like, Lubel is so, so good. Okay, Respite is good. And we'll manifest Malice. I think Hold the Tree is better than playing it. Because although card draw is good right now, uh, there's a chance that we get Lubel, and, you know, Lubel is just much better with it. Maybe I'll play this before I play the Roll Wow. But before that happens, we can draw a Lubel, right? Okay, well... Is it a waste if I play the Ceres here, because I don't get Bally out of the heal? Maybe I draw first, in case I draw another more playable card. Lubel answers the board now. I'd still rather do Ceres than Lubel, right? I mean, he has to clear this. And it's not easy. He could pre Priest of Excess, sure. I mean, I guess that's likely what will happen, right? But then he has to give me a Thought card draw no matter what, right? It feels bad to not get the heal, but if the game is slowing down, then maybe that's good for me anyway, right? Wait, did it really trade with an Evo and Meowskers? That's weird. That's really weird. I think I just set up the greatest... Lubel in the future. And I go face with the Ceres, play a Sora. Like Sora Evil kills me, Askers. Go face for three, go to 20. And then we have three cost Lubel. With zero cost Aether, Respite, things like that. I can also just Manifest Malice, trade, 
save the Evo, which is actually maybe even better. I do lose 3 damage, but I keep my Evo, which is probably better long term. I guess I get to go Faithful on here. I guess he's gonna do like Explosive, Cravens, Agnes plays or something like that. Okay, we hold the Ceres till the heal matters. So I guess the question is where Lubel is worth it right now. I do clear the board, get a big board myself. I guess it puts pressure on him to be fair, right? Maybe I Confectioner first? And then we see uh, if with the cards that I have left... Yes, I do think I want to commit to the Lubel, right? Is that good enough? I think it is good enough, right? Like, we got enough out of this. I think 1 plus 1 plus 1. The one time I was paying is arguably the worst one, because I'd also would take an extra card draw at that point. We're still holding Seor Kasora for a power play. What is thought at? I mean, we're getting there. Lubella is really, like, so good at speeding up the thought. I'm gonna play one more to just guarantee the extra fauna, basically. Like, Mom is active now, right? Yeah. Let's have a good board. We're getting thought there, and I still always have zero cost Sora, as well as Ceres. Four three cost for three heal. And he has to answer my board. Maybe he this is where he kills, right? All right. Well, he did have a kill. At least the plus one plus one Lubel is enough to uh, bump it. I want to see a main story characters in glorious animation. I mean, that would have been sweet. I'm like that would have been awesome. Don't get me wrong, right? But I'm also an open-minded panda, and I welcome new things that could happen. Such as us getting Asia for free. Right what if I play Mom and we just sit on it? And if he doesn't answer it, we will ash it to the face. I just need to proc my last words to get the thought going. I mean, we're getting there. So maybe I just draw and proc thought this turn, right? Like, I can use the trees because we don't have a Lubella in hand, so it doesn't feel like a waste. Another Ceres. It just feels like overkill, right? I still get enough heal out of this to be worth it, I think. Okay, Helio is pretty good there. We can do Thought, proc the leader effect, play annoying ass Helio. I'm at 20 life and we have Sarah's heal. Like, I can burst heal 6 in a turn. And now we can start doing a lot of damage to him, right? I'm curious what kind of direction they are going to push the anime towards. So, including a new story? Uh, yeah, we don't know, right? It really could be anything if you think about it. Gotta hope it doesn't flop with the series. Yeah, I mean, it could be good, it could be bad. I think. It's more likely to just be, like, funny, like a funny thing to watch. And all I can say is that, you know, if it brings people into the game, then I think that's a really good thing. Okay, what is our play? We have Thought Effect active. He's playing it's really, really slow, which is good for us, right? I don't have Lubell. Is there a dog power play? Probably, right? Let's just start with dog draw, and then we'll go from there. This is one of those complicated turns where I have no idea what we're doing, really. But well, we're gonna play cards that are glowing and hopefully that leads to a uh, good situation for us. Lubel is a good card. We don't dislike Lubel. I suppose we should draw then, right? What if I just play Mom and we hold a Lubel for future turns? Because Mom is annoying enough at the moment, clear the board. Let me go face with the zombie, protect the doggy. I mean, what, what is he gonna do, right? Maybe that's when I just play the Sora. Like, I don't need more removal, I just want more stats on the board, right? The idea being that next turn I can go Lubel, use my play points to just do a bunch of damage, right? If it flops and they're investing a lot into it, I'm gonna be afraid it would affect the game. Nah, don't worry about that for the slightest, dude. Uh, if you don't know about side games, side games have so much money, dude. Like, they are, uh, they're doing more than okay. They can afford to, you know, take the risk on a... Something like that. Uh, we're not playing the Elephant, no. This is like a new, sort of slower build, which is kind of funny, right? Because, like, the meta is faster, but we're playing, like, a, a way slower build, because we have things like Ceres. But it's kind of, like, we have these low turns of Ceres, but then you have those explosive Lubel turns after, right? It kind of works out. I actually really, really like the deck at the moment. 